In this session, we'll look into optimizing our scenes using interactive render filters. So this will speed up our monitor renders when making iterations. At the point where we're working on the scenes, we don't necessarily need to be in full samples or resolution. So we could change these directly in the DR settings or the render settings, but we don't necessarily want to do that because there's a risk of setting up a render of the scene and forgetting to set these values back. That's where the interactive render filter node comes in, and it's a very non-destructive way of working. So I'll show you how to set this up. If I hit tab and interactive render filters, alternatively I can type in IRF and place this in the node graph. Now this node does not need to be plugged in anywhere, so if I hover over this and hit E, then what we can do is hit this plus symbol over here and then you can add your node type. So I'm going to type in my DL settings. So if I hit spacebar over this tab, then it's going to expand the tab. What I'm going to say is low samples. And first, set this to low samples. I'm going to set this to 32 and put this in category samples. Now I'm going to duplicate this over and call this medium samples and call this, um, put this up to 64. Now if I hit spacebar over here and if you toggle this interactive render filters icon over here, the interactive render filter that you just set will appear over here. And so you can toggle between different sample values so you can type in low samples and then this will be applied to your monitor renders. So if I go ahead and do the same thing with our render settings to change the resolution and so I'm going to call this uh, low resolution D2540 and I'm going to duplicate this over and now I'm going to call this medium resolution and I'm going to set this 1280 to 720. Now if I jump back and I can select my low resolution and then if I just send off a quick preview render then you'll see that my samples and image size will be scaled down. So this is a good way of working quite quickly within the scene and if you send off a render to the farm these interactive render filters will not be taken into account. It will only be applied while working within the scenes. So the good thing about this node is that you can reuse it, you can copy and paste it across different scenes. Now this is all for interactive render filters, I'll move back towards the Gaffer 3 node in the next session and look at mesh lights. Yeah.